you've spent any time using a follower, you might have noticed there's a huge difference between Lydia watching your back compared to a follower such as Janessa or Jordis. Lydia is by a large margin the weakest follower in the game. Because of this, she ends up being the butt end of several jokes, tribute videos. I know uh, a lot of players decide to kill her out of frustration. She's just not worth the hassle of keeping her around most of the time because she spends more time hunched over crying in pain than she spends fighting enemies. Here's an example of Lydia in action. Now, you may be thinking that certain followers are horrible choices because they die constantly, they're weak. However, this is not because they're bad, it's because there's a huge bug with the way that followers level up in Skyrim. Followers level up with you, and different followers have different level caps. House Carls and guild members level all the way up to 50. Some of the ones that you meet in passing, they stop around their 30s or their 40s. I went ahead and posted a link in the video description to a spreadsheet that lists all of the followers in the game. It has their level caps, their skills, their stats, their health. If you go ahead and take a look at that spreadsheet, you'll notice Lydia has the potential to be one of the strongest companions in the game. Yet, if you've spent any time with her, you know that's a long way from reality. You might also notice companions that cast spells. Uh, they'll use novice or apprentice level spells even though you're level 50. You might be wondering why, you might try and give them a spell book or something to get them to learn the new spell. All these problems are due to the bug that I mentioned. When you first meet your follower, the stats that they have at that time are locked in place. Now, they continue to level up with you, and you can confirm this by casting spells with level restrictions such as Dead Thrall as I'm showing here. The problem is with their stats. Their stats will never increase. This is the reason that Lydia is affected so badly. Uh, most people had to white run within the first 10 levels as part of the main quest. And if you make any progress in the main quest, you become the Thane of white run without even trying. Uh, also, Breeze Home is the least expensive house in the game, so it's the first big purchase a lot of players will save up for. Most players have entered white run by level 10 at the latest. Uh, I know many as low as level 5. Even if you don't get that far until level 20, um, by the time you get Lydia as a follower and you've gained even a handful of levels, the difference between the damage that you're able to take versus watching Lydia try and tank uh, any weak monster, it's enormous. Now, I don't know what causes the follower stats to lock in place, only that it does happen. Here I'm covering how much damage Lydia can take. This is on a playthrough where I went to White Run right off the bat. It's my first playthrough, and you can see she doesn't take very much damage at all, even though I'm max level. Wait, hear my plea, my master. So here's how to fix the problem. You first have to do the quest, The Mind of Madness, for the Daedric Artifact. The Wabachak! A staff that casts all sorts of random abilities, from Lightning Storm to Insta-Kills. Once you've completed the quest and you have... The Wabachak! The first step is to dismiss your follower. If you try and do this while they're still following you, the fix is not going to work. Uh, it's also a good idea to make a new save in case your follower dies to the Wabajack's insta-kill ability. Um, it's random when that's going to happen, you can't prepare for it, so definitely make a, make a new save before you start trying this. Keep casting it on them over and over until they change form. This can be a rabbit, it can be a chicken, a mud crab, even a, a daedra. Once they transform, you can either let them attack you or just avoid them if they're doing too much damage to you until the effect wears off. Uh, once the effect wears off, you might notice that any armor you've given them has gone away and they revert to using their default starting armor set. This is good news because it means that the change worked. If you see them using the armor that you've given them already, this means that the upgrade did not take place. The only time I've seen that happen is when I tried to do this while they were still following me um, without dismissing them first. So make sure you dismiss them first and make sure that any armor you've given them is not being worn after the effect wears off. So after that effect wears off, their stats are recreated based on the level that they are now. It's sort of like an enemy respawning. All of their stats are recreated based on their level rather than being locked in place from the time when you first met them. Now, if they haven't reached their level cap yet, which you can confirm on that spreadsheet, you're going to have to do this multiple times until you get that high. But the payoff is well worth it. Here is what Lydia looks like after the upgrade. She can take several more hits. Her skills have all improved. They've all reached their intended caps. The difference is massive. Unless you avoided your follower and the entire city they live in until you were at their level cap, every single companion is going to suffer from this, and every single follower will benefit from doing this upgrade. Feel free to keep the Wabajack.
I've posted a link to the walkthrough I made a while back uh, for the Mind of Madness in the description. Also, another quick note, the Wabajack can be recharged with filled soul gems like any other enchanted weapon. If you have a lot of followers that you're going to want to upgrade this way, you need to prepare to go through a lot of charges. If you don't have the Black Star yet, it's a good idea to get that quest done. I'll include a link to that guide in the description as well. That does it for this guide. Thank you to everyone that left positive feedback on the commentary I put up the other day. You asked for more guides without text, so I'm going to go ahead and honor that request. I hope this video helps you. Maybe now you're going to want to give Lydia a second chance, but keep in mind that failed relationships usually will not work out no matter how many times you try. Don't take her back. Just move on, give her to the blades, sacrifice her at the stake. Thanks guys.